Okay guys, so yeah, all my clothes, my finished clothes. Well, my finished bereda. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is After Alicia. And over here, naturally, is the topic. Well, I posted this picture. And I did a braid out for the first time in my whole life. Can you believe it? My hair is like bra strap length and I did braid out once. I loved those results and everyone was asking me about it. So we're going to try to replicate that, okay? So when I did it, I did it with a curling cream that didn't have much hold. So that picture was the three taken like five minutes after separating all the braids. And that's how my hair looked for like two hours but then it like poofed up and the next day the style was gone this is what we're starting with so we're going to try and get those perfectly defined curls and yeah guys i will let you guys know about how everything works at the end what i think about it so for now i'm just going to brush this out guys i'm going to use very little water so that I don't like so that my hair doesn't go back to curly I kind of just wanted to be manageable enough to brush it out without brushing it on dry hair so I'll put on some oil my mixed oil and I'll put on some a little bit of water with my spray bottle just to brush out all of my hair so yeah that will be the first step to the braid it I'm going to do this on I wouldn't say my hair is dirty my hair is probably like almost a week old so yeah red like product on or whatever but we can we can do a braid out my hair is not that dirty so i'm gonna go ahead and brush out my hair and then i'll come back once i am completely done with that i'll probably watch some youtube videos in the meantime okay guys so we have one side completely brushed out i just put them in these four thick twists and People have been asking me how I detangle my hair after they saw how thick my hair actually is. So yeah, I'm just going to speed through this process. I'm going to watch some YouTube, so I'll probably be looking down a lot. But yeah, you can just see how I'm just detangling my hair. It's nothing special. Also, I'm going to use this mixture of oils that I have. You can check out my one oil video where you'll find out what is all in here. And I actually used it up, which I'm very... I'm very chuffed about my hair is semi kind of detangled it doesn't look like it but it actually is so yeah I won't be spraying it with water I'll just be using some oil and then combing through it and twisting it up like this so you'll see <music> your hair in two and then do the braids like one side and that side because you're going to be left with a very ugly middle path that goes right down the back which will cause a lot of frizz when you're trying to hide the path so i do suggest like doing your parting randomly but also try and make a few of those braids like right in going down the middle of your head so for now i'm just gonna show you how i would kind of start at the beginning i'm going to have a middle path so up until here I will work with the middle path further on, I will just wing it, okay? 
So as you can see it's that section. What I'm going to do is just take the section like that. You can see it's not too big, not too seems a bit big actually. But yeah, like a section like that. If you can see the rest of my hair, I'll just clip. Okay. So as you can see my hair is pretty stretched, you know. As much as you're gonna get my natural hair to stretch, okay. So now we're gonna use some of this. Not too much. I do actually feel like this is a bit... Okay, no, that's enough. You don't want your hair to revert. So you don't want to add so much product that your curls actually start popping. Because that's why we brushed out the hair. We don't want the curls popping right now. We kind of want them to relax. So, yeah, I'll just show you the process. I'll just show you the process that I'll go through when I am doing the braid up. So just normally like that. And I'll pull it down. And separating three and just start braiding. You don't need to braid like super, super duper tight. Like the tighter the braid is, the, the longer it's going to take to dry. Like I am using some product in my hair. So my hair isn't like 100% dry. I'm not using water, which will shorten the drying process. But yeah. Also another thing is I am like natural and I would hope you are too but if you're not your curls at the end might not like I can do that and my hair is going to stay like that like the curls probably not going to come out it might not look as curly as ever but otherwise you can use a perm rod at the end to keep that curl in but that curl is fine it's gonna stay there so yeah that is pretty much it and so you see I have this whole section here in front. I'll probably section this whole section into three and then yeah We'll just continue from there. So I will just Keep on braiding keep on braiding and then in the end I'll come back and show you guys how much braids I actually have in my head We are done and they look so neat like this is a look They are yeah I don't let me just count them for you quick I have about 30 braids in my head which seems like a lot but it really went quick I would like watch two YouTube videos and my hair is done and yeah so we use the curl activator curl activating gel from the perfect hair it feels a bit sticky so I won't lie I am a little bit worried when if the takedown process is gonna result in a lot of frizz but we'll see that tomorrow so I'll come back tomorrow and then I will kind of show you guys how my my takedown process I will be just be sleeping with a satin bonnet and yeah hi guys so it's the next morning and yeah these are my braids now in the morning so I'm just gonna take them out and I'm going to separate them now so they are fully dry they don't feel crunchy i just hope the takedown process is gonna be fine i'm gonna cover my hands in some grapeseed oil so yeah let me just take out this one and then I will take out the rest and come back once they are all finished. So try and be gentle when you're taking them out because you don't want to cause more frizz than what you're probably already going to get. Okay, so there it is. Sizes are very uneven, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove another one. The gentler you are taking it down, the less frizz you'll cause in the takedown process. It's besides the separating part.
Okay guys, so I'm gonna go and take off the rest of camera and then I'll come back once they all just loosen. Okay guys, so this is the one side like just taken out of the braid. Um, so yeah, it looks not look bad. But this is before I separate it, so yeah. We'll come back. So we are back and all my all my braids are out. I didn't do any separating yet, but my braids were kind of like I had 30 braids in, so I did expect like already not like chunky chunky twists, not like chunky chunky sections. So I'm just going to section them a little bit, not too much, because I kind of need to leave. And then I'll... So what I'm going to do when I section is that you just see where my hair wants to section on its own. And just like pull it apart like that. And I'll probably only section this huge ass part. Not everything. Because like separating curls is a, like a job, a day job. So this will be happening all day. I'll be, my hands will be in my hair all day. So yeah, what I have to say about this is my hair feels like, you know, like almost like like if I didn't put oil on my hands, my hair feels like it would have been a little bit crunchy, which I'm actually shocked about. Like my hair does have that like, I used just a good amount before the gel made my, my curls crunchy because I do feel that dry feeling, which... I'm not gonna lie, I kind of expect it because if you saw my video where I reviewed this product, I kind of went in on it. I was on the nicest, I'm sorry, but you know, it's just honest. Um, I do want to try maybe doing it with the Auntie Jackie's curling gel. Um, if you can see, I reviewed those two gels, which I would love to use the grapeseed one on this. Like, the grapeseed one is nice and light, and I feel like it will. Just give a good amount of hold without being a bit crunchy. Like, I, will, I don't know how to explain it. But so yeah guys, all I'm going to do is just separate this. As you can see, it's not, I don't have like a routine. I kind of just take on my hair. Wherever it feels thick as thick curls, I will separate it. So I do actually feel that is enough. I don't want to over separate it because that will be happening on its own. But yeah guys, there we got it. So I do like the way my hair felt that time because that time I used the curling cream but I feel like this might hold longer. These curls, like these waves I'd say might hold longer than the previous one I'm just gonna do my edges and put in some clips and I'll show you how we'll kind of be wearing the hair for the day okay guys so here are my curls my finished curls well my finished braid I've got this cute like supposed to be holographic holographic clips if you can see and my god look amazing like I'm gonna be addicted to a braid out now because it gives me the length that I want. I would suggest maybe the Auntie Jackie's curling gel or if your hair can fight the frizz in just a curling cream like a curling lotion and do do that. The Yori curl cream I do want to try a braid out of that because I think my curls will be more fluffier and kind of softer. But yeah my hair came out really nice. I suggest using a nice curling gel for it. Also guys, give this video a like and please subscribe to my channel if you're new here um, and leave a comment about anything. I'll just be so happy to hear from you. And yeah guys, 